Hey guys, I hope this finds you well. I just want to do this quick lesson to kind of help give you some ideas on how you can optimize your practice sessions and really get the most out of whatever you're working on. Now I, I practice in very particular ways, no matter what the concept is. And usually I find the best results in when you learn things vertically and then linear and then kind of combine them. So I always learn like fingering patterns, like I said, vertically and then linear. And then I kind of let go of the fingering patterns and just create music. I'm not really one for learning licks, but I like to learn devices and I like to learn them all over the instrument in all keys and then kind of get myself to the point where I forget the fingering patterns I've learned and then just create music with it. So a good way to demonstrate this is with this minor pentatonic scale. So it's a G minor pentatonic. And I'm going to learn it like alternating notes. I guess you could say it's the scale in thirds, even though it's not technically intervals of thirds but it would be kind of G to C and then D to B flat and then C to F and then G to D and then F B flat and then C to G. So learn that ascending and descending. learn it off each degree. And do this for every degree. I'm learning this, I'm playing this actually on a six string bass, but I'm playing it in the range of a four string. So whatever size your instrument, just kind of go from your lowest note in that four fret range and just play it off each degree of the instrument up and down. And what I like to do is I like to kind of create music in each of these positions and just kind of up the tempo. So I might be working on some solo ideas, some lyrical ideas. I might be working on, working on some grooves. But whatever it is, I'm just going to go from each degree and then move on to a linear way of playing. do that for all 12 keys and obviously the patterns change so it's really important to kind of do it in each of these keys and spend some time like getting it technically up there so really the point of learning it vertically and horizontally is so once you're comfortable you kind of forget about all of the fingering patterns and just try to organically imply these ideas across the fingerboard and if you do this for each concept you're working on you can really kind of get quite comfortable with it but the idea is to always kind of have a goal and once you reach it, move on to the next key, the next key. And then once you've done all 12 keys and you're comfortable doing it, it becomes part of your natural vocabulary. So it's kind of more organic when it appears in your playing. And then move on to the next thing and continue. So I'm now going to play over a groove with a drum track, just using ideas from this pattern. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you soon. Thank you.